I welcome you to my daily Catholic reflection in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Beloved in Christ, today is Saturday, the sixth day in the month of July, year 2024. I am here as usual to share the word of God with you. My name is Joseph Iyaji. I titled my reflection for today as Restoration and Renewal. Restoration and Renewal. Beloved in Christ, in today's edition of my daily Catholic reflection, we shall learn about the themes of restoration, renewal, and transformation in the kingdom of God. The themes of of restoration, renewal, and transformation in the kingdom of God. In our first reading of today, from Amos chapter 9, verse 11 to 15, the prophet Amos speaks of the restoration of David's fallen tent. God's promises to repair his broken places, restore his ruins, and rebuild it as it used to be. This passage is a powerful reminder of God's unwavering commitment to restore and renew his people, no matter how far they are falling. It is a message of hope and assurance that God's love and mercy are ever present. Beloved in Christ, in our gospel reading of today from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 9, verse 14 to 17, Jesus teaches us that, or Jesus teaches us about the need for newness and transformation. When questioned about fasting by John's disciples, Jesus uses the analogy of new wine in new wine skin. He explained that new wine must be put into new wine skin to prevent both from being ruined. This metaphor highlights the importance of embracing new ways and being open to the transformative power of God's love. Jesus calls us to let go of old, rigid, or old and rigid structure and to be open to the fresh and dynamic work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Beloved in Christ, to these readings, challenge us to reflect on our own lives and the areas where we need God's restoration and renewal. Is it in our business? Is it in our families? Is it in any areas of our lives that needs restoration and renewal? Let us open our hearts to God's transformative power, allowing Him to rebuild and renew us. Let us allow let us also embrace the new ways that God is leading us to, trusting that his plans are always for our own good and betterment. I pray, may the good Lord continue to bless us and guide us as we seek to live out these lessons in our daily lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me today. My name is is Joseph Iyaji. Beloved in Christ, before I conclude my reflection for today, I wish to use this medium or opportunity to let you know that Akahi Tutors is preparing students intensively towards OAU post to TME, OAU pre-degree, OAU school of nursing, and OAU JUPEP. Please, should you have any interested candidate, such can call or contact me personally on 080-38644-328. The number again is 080-38644-328. I am convinced beyond reasonable doubt that your success in this year's exam in OAU shall be successful. And success is ours. I conclude my reflection for today in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you and God bless you. Please don't forget to share this post with others. Don't forget to also follow or like my page, Akai Update, Akai News, Akai Tutors. 
as you do this almighty god will not forsake you he will continue to bless you abundantly in all ramification and every walk of darkness that will surface to obstruct or impend your life or your progress in life shall be cut off in the name of jesus thank you and god bless you